out here in this hillside vineyard overlooking Dry Creek Valley uh, testing grapes today. So we're, we're going to get a representative sample out of this vineyard and, and then we'll crush the grapes and we'll check the sugar content and that's going to give us an idea of what the potential alcohol is going to be from the vineyard. But it's not really going to tell us whether the grapes are ripe or not. That's a decision that has to really be made by taste. And so as we're going through the vineyard and sampling it, we're also tasting berries to get a feel of what they're like. Now these berries are, are really pretty sweet, but they still got acidity to them. Very, very fruity. You can Just by chewing them, you can feel that, that they have nice thick skins. Um, that's also an indication that they're getting close to ripe. It's also is, is an indication of high quality fruit. So that you can't rule out the human factor. The human factor is very important in determining when the best time to pick grapes is. So I've pulled my, sa my sample, in this case it's more like a 200 berry sample, and I've crushed these grapes up and given them a few minutes to, to soak up a little bit. And now I, I can just dip my refractometer and get juice on the, on the, on the slide here. And uh, then if I just look through the refractometer, it tells me that the juice is about 24.8 degrees bricks, or it's, it's about 24.5% sugar. This, now since we, I know that, that what the conversion of sugar is to alcohol um, around 0.6 so my 24 and a half degrees brick is is going to turn into something like about 14 percent alcohol in the finished wine. Now the way that this refractometer works is it has a prism inside and uh, and and if I put water on the slide well the, then then the sunlight goes straight through the water it, it it's just very slightly diffracted but when you put a sugar solution on here it diffracts the light more and it's it's all in percent it's directly related to the percent sugar so so it by it by bending the light inside this it it makes the the uh, scale illuminate inside so it's very easy to read in fact it's now it's saying it's at 25 degrees bricks Now the accumulation of sugar in the grapes, uh, it varies depending on what the weather's like. But but on average, the the sugar can change by about two percent a week. So that gives a, a kind of a rough guideline about how how fast it can happen. With a little bit of luck, it'll happen more slowly than that. If we get nice, cool, foggy mornings, we could go through a week and only gain a half a degrees bricks or or a half a percent sugar. Um, but but we have to be prepared. That if it gets hot, that these grapes are the sugars are going to soar, and we and in, over a period of a week we can see a two degrees bricks climb, two percent sugar climb. So we're we're aiming to pick these at somewhere around uh, 25, 24 percent sugar. We're getting close now, but the flavor's just not quite there. They need a little bit more time on the vine. 